today we'll be discussing about histograms and image processing histogram in image processing is a very important tool as they provide graphical representation of the distribution of intensity values in an image uh, this information about uh, the distribution of intensity values of an image is useful for various image processing tasks uh, for example for contrast correction thresholding color correction etc here you can see the figure uh, where you can see the histogram so here histogram is a bar graph that is displaying the number of pixels in an image for each intensity value on the x axis you can see the intensity value and y axis says number of pixel at that particular intensity for a grayscale image the intensity values will range from 0 to 255 and for a color image uh, there are histograms for each of the red green and blue channels to create an histogram first we divide the range of intensity value into a set of bits and then count the number of pixels that fall into each bit this count is represented by the height of the bar for that bit for this histogram we can see uh, for a particular intensity of 5 the number is 60 it means that the number of pixel is 60 with respect to an intensity of 5 similarly for an intensity 2 the number of pixel is 50 in an image so basically there are two dif different representation of histogram one is a unnormalized histogram and second one is a normalized histogram we will look into the difference between these two in an unnormalized histogram the x axis gives the intensity and the y axis gives the count of different intensity levels that is y axis of the histogram it shows the row frequency count of the pixel intensities Unnormalized histograms are very important in applications where absolute number of pixels with a particular intensity value is in important. And in this case, each subdivision of this intensity values is called the histogram bins. Here you can see in the image. Uh, let us see. Let us say that R K denote the intensity of an n level digital image. it means that uh, the number of intensity values of this particular image is from 1 to l minus 1 and rk is denoting the intensities of l level uh, digital image an unnormalized histogram will be defined as h of rk equal to nk where nk is the number of pixels in uh, f with intensity rk unnormalized histograms are generally less used compared to normalized histogram because uh, with respect to unnormalized histogram it is difficult to compare two images with different sizes so in that case when we want to compare or perform a particular task with respect to images of different size we make use of normalized histogram so this is the disadvantage of unnormalized histogram it is difficult to compare images of different sizes and it does not provide a uniform representation of the distribution of pixel intensity so it is compared to normalized uh, histogram a normalized histogram is less used now coming to normalized histogram this is an histogram that has been rescaled so that the area under the histogram is equal to 1 which means that the height of the bars in a normalized histogram will represent the proportion of pixels in the image with a particular intensity value the advantage is Uh, we can it will allow us to compare uh, the distribution of intensity values across uh, images of different size and it is particularly useful in, full in various uh, computer vision applications where we want to compare images of different size or where we want to compare images taken under different conditions another advantage of normalized histogram is that they are insensitive to changes in the image size or changes in number of pixels in the image it makes it very robust representation of uh, histogram representation when compared to distributing intensity of an image and uh, to compute a uh, normalized histogram the first step we have to do is compute the row histogram and then divide each bin count by the total number of pixels in the image so here we are assuming that m and n are the row size and the column size of an image m and n are the number of images uh, number of rows and columns in an image respectively so what we are doing is we are computing the row uh, row pixel uh, or the row histogram of an image and dividing each bin count by the total number of images in the uh, total number of pixels in the image this will give us a normalized histogram and the area under the histogram will be equal to 1 so in conclusion normalized histograms are an important tool in image processing they provide robust 
and comparable representation of the distribution of intensity values in an image and uh, by using normalized histogram we can compare intensity distribution across two different images and make uh, some decisions about image processing task such as contrast correction thresholding etc thank you for your attention